I hear these questions from my students that whether it is worth investing into SCCM? Is SCCM still relevant? Are industries still using SCCM? I will answer these questions in this video. I will break down the current status of Microsoft Configuration Manager, which was formerly known as SCCM, and explain where it is still widely used, where it is declining, and how it fits into the modern IT landscape alongside the Microsoft Intune. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. The SECM was introduced in 1994 and this product was called as Systems Management Server SMS. Later it was rebranded in 2007 as System Center Configuration Manager and in 2019 it became Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager MECM. In 2023, Microsoft dropped this keyword endpoint from it and branded it as Microsoft Configuration Manager. In this video, we will see the real world adoption of Microsoft Configuration Manager, industry trends, and will see the SECM versus Intune what is trending. Well, let us first understand what is Microsoft Configuration Manager. The Microsoft Configuration Manager is an on-premises endpoint management tool that is used to manage the devices, deploying the softwares, enforcing the compliance, and roll out the updates in large IT environments. Basically, this is used for change management, asset management like hardware or software inventory, software metering, and asset intelligence, and for configuration, deployment, and management of servers and devices. Well, SCCM is still heavily used in enterprises, especially those with large and on-premises environments or strict regulatory needs. The top use cases for SCCM are the deployment of the operating systems at scale, distributing the applications and packages, managing software updates and compliance, supporting the legacy systems, and asset management. Industries like finance, healthcare, government, and the defense still prefer SECM for its control, auditability, and reliability. As far as the usage of SECM is concerned, it is declining in some of the industries, especially among the small to mid-sized businesses or fully cloud-based organizations. This is gradually declining because these organizations rely on cloud services like Microsoft Intune or third-party cloud-native endpoint solutions for easier management and lower infrastructure cost. Microsoft isn't ending SECM. It's encouraging for co-management with Intune. This lets IT teams keep using the SECM for critical workloads like patching or the operating system deployment while offloading the modern device policies, app management and conditional access to Intune. This hybrid model offers the flexibility during the digital transformation. The real trend is hybrid. Most organizations are using SECM and Intune together, choosing the best tool for each task. SECM is not deprecated, it is still supported, updated and used in real-world IT environments. But it is also not the future. That role increasingly belongs to cloud-native solutions like Microsoft Intune. This brings to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you in next video. If you are if you have not subscribed it yet, subscribe the channel. Thank you.